It's too late to buy you and I can't keep my head dancing in the shadows. Hi guys, so this is the random tag and I'm just gonna jump straight in with the questions. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I used to sleep on the left uh, and then recently I started sleeping diagonally. I don't know why, so I sleep on this side but I'm diagonally across my bed. What is the drink that you always order at Starbucks? Uh, my drink is a medium caramel macchiato to take away. That's always my thing. Always a medium, always a medium because if it's too small there's not enough caffeine in it and if it's too big I'll be peeing for three days. So you need like a happy medium and a caramel macchiato is the best. It's really, really sugary and sweet and sickly and amazing. What beauty rule do you preach but never actually practice? Oh, I like that. Um, I don't know, I don't ever preach beauty tips because I don't think I'm very good at it, but I'm completely honest, I'm not gonna give out advice. No, there's nothing that I would tell someone to do if I didn't do it myself because I don't, I don't get that. Which way do you face in the shower? <laughs> That's a really weird question. It said random, they're right. I face like outwards so the tap's behind me. I don't know why. So I'm like long ways looking away from the bath. And the window's here, so I'm not looking at the window either. I've never thought about that. Which way do you guys stand in the shower? Is that normal? Do you have any weird body skills? I do. I have a weird syndrome with my body that makes me quite flexible, so I can do some weird things. Um, there's not really enough space for me to show you, but I can explain it. So I'm standing on one leg with one leg directly out, and I can like hold my foot uh, like with a straight leg. It's really not that cool. The other thing I can do is if I lie on the floor, I can pass my hands over my legs when my legs are straight. Again, very difficult to explain if you can't see it, but there's no way for me to show you. I'm so sorry. What's your favourite comfort food or food that is bad for you but you love to eat anyway? Oh my god, everything. Oh, there are so many. There are so many. Like, like you wouldn't believe so many. Donuts are like right up there because it's like one of my favourite foods. Pancakes is another one. Anything that's stodge, I just love stodge. Or, you know what is one of the best things ever? Is a Domino's pizza with their little meatballs on it. Oh, if you haven't had a Domino's meatball, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Off you pop, go and get one now. They're like little meatballs they put on the pizza like it's a topping, but it's a meatball. <laughs> Why would you not want a meatball on your, on your pizza? That's just amazing. I also just like any like big ass meal. Like anything that looks huge on a plate just makes me really, really happy. Like a massive roast or a massive curry or a massive pie. Anything that's like really filling is like my thing. I used to be a very, very big child, so food is like my one true love in life. Like food is just, food, food is the best. I just love food. So it's not really a comfort food because I'm not only eating it when I'm comforting myself. I just eat it all the time. I just try and balance it with like a lot of vegetables. I drink a lot of water and I do exercise as well. So that means I can eat pizza a lot and eat donuts a lot and eat a load of trash a lot. <laughs> the balance of life. Are you a cat or a dog person? Um, I'm a cat person I think because Dogs are a little bit more high maintenance. You've got to take them for walks, teach them tricks. They've got to do things, you know? Cats just lay about and they, they, they're warm and, and furry and cute. Um, I just prefer cats, I do. Can you curl your tongue? I always think, am I doing it right? But mine's just like a tube. When some people can make like the W with their tongue, I can't. I do this one, like that, but I can't do like the W thing. <laughs> it looks like I'm about to throw up. Are you afraid of heights? Um, I'm not afraid of them, like I still go on roller coasters and stuff so it wouldn't put me off uh, but I don't like heights. Is Christmas stressful? Oh yeah, oh definitely, Christmas is definitely stressful but I absolutely love Christmas. It's just a time for family and food and just good company and it makes me so freaking happy. You've got a nice tree in the corner, you've got the pretty pretty lights to stare at. Um, I love Christmas. Do you sing in the car? Uh, yeah, I do. I think the car is where I do most of my singing. I love driving and one of the main reasons is I'm in a little box just singing to myself. I'm having the time of my life. So yes, I sing in the car. Nike or Adidas? Also, it's Adidas. I don't call it Adidas. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I've always said Adidas. So I'm sticking with Adidas. Adidas is a good word to say. Adidas. Adidas. Oh, it's got a good ring to it. Good name for a cat, Adidas. Come on, Adidas. Come get your dinner. I was like, oh, it sounds fruity and tropical. Adidas. Nike, not a good name for a cat. Adidas, good name. Not Adidas, Adidas. I don't think I've ever owned anything that's Adidas. I've got nothing Adidas brand. I've said Adidas too many times and it sounds weird. Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. <laughs> Have you ever cried because you were so happy? No, I don't think I've ever cried tears of joy. Oh, am I missing out? Am I? Were you ever a Girl Scout? Um, we didn't have Girl Scouts when we were younger, but we had brownies, and brownies were amazing. I joined the brownies because they used to make food. This is how the conversation went down when my mum asked if I wanted to be a brownie. Hey Alice, do you want to be a brownie? You can like learn new skills and make new friends. I would love to go to a class once a week and eat cake. 
I remember one time at Brownies, we had these like cookies and then we'd like decorate them with icing and pretty stuff. I remember sitting just eating icing out of a bowl and I was having the time of my life. Like that is like a childhood memory, which is just beautiful to me. In Brownies, you get like a little sash and you get like little badges. My mum actually found my sash a while back and it was just covered in icing. There weren't even that many badges. I think there were like two badges on it and then the rest is just icing. Brownies was great. I also learned how to make a fruit salad, which isn't really learning, it's just cutting. <laughs> But I got a badge for it. I got a badge. Life skills. Do you still watch cartoons? I do because I am a 26 year old woman. <laughs> Rick and Morty at the moment has been like at the top of the cartoon game. It's just brilliant. You can't beat it. I just find it relaxing. It's great. Do you always smile for pictures? No. I'm extremely awkward when it comes to photos. I don't know why but I just overthink it and I'm like oh, oh what's my face doing now? Am I angry? Am I happy? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Filming is fine for me because there's so much going on that I'm just sort of like oh, forget it. But <laughs> with pictures I'm extremely awkward so no I do not I do not always smile for photos unfortunately have you ever used a gun dear god no guys I struggle with pens okay pens I like doodle on myself I've got pen all over my face can you imagine me with a gun no just no unless we talk about laser tag because in that case I'm whooping it have you ever won a spelling bee no we never like had spelling bees growing up it wasn't like a thing in my school um it just wasn't a thing. I'm absolutely shocking at spelling, like shocking. Do you regularly burn incense? <laughs> what? Okay, these really are random questions. Um, no, I don't have any incense. I have those like diffuser stick things in my room. So like you plonk the sticks in the juice and then the sticks suck up the juice and then the room smells amazing. I've got those, but not incense. I don't think it's safe for me to be around fire because I'm extremely clumsy. So incense is probably just a risk to like burning carpet if you ask me. Have you ever won a contest? <laughs> I have only ever won one contest in my life and it wasn't even a contest, okay? There was a contest, somebody won it, they felt bad because I didn't win anything so they made up some crap to make me feel better about my life. It was the biggest smiler award. That just sums up my life. <laughs> As a child all I did was smile so it was quite fitting if I'm honest but it's not a proper thing. A smiling contest isn't a thing. What is your favourite colour? My favourite colour is like turquoise, like greeny turquoise. What is your favourite type of clothing? Oh, I do love a big jumper, like a hoodie or a jumper or like just slouchy. What was your first job? I love my first job. My first job was when I was 18 and I worked in a fancy dress shop that also did like craft things. I literally got to like dress up and be paid for it. Have you ever dated two people at the same time? No, no I have not ever dated two people at the same time. It ain't for me. It sounds like a lot of effort if I'm completely honest. The last time you swam in a pool. <laughs> that is the funniest thing just happened. <laughs> I just read one of the questions wrong and I can't breathe now. <laughs> The question says, the last time you swam in a pool, but there's a question mark and I couldn't see the L of pool, so it looked like the question was, the last time you'd swam in poo? And I was like, what sort of questions are these? I mean, I know they're random, but come on, what the hell? The last time I swam in a pool was a few months ago. Me and my friend actually go swimming quite a lot, but we stopped because of the winter, because we got cold. What was your most embarrassing moment? Look, look guys, um, I think you've realized by now, there are too many. Probably when I saw the word pool and thought it said poo. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, rate your driving skills. Oh, I like this one. I'd probably rate myself maybe like a 7 to 8 with driving. I really like driving. I bloody love that. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, how good a kisser are you? I don't know. I've never kissed myself. <laughs> one thing that you know now that you wish you had known as a kid. I think it would just be to slow down and enjoy the moment. Such a freaking line. What's that really lame saying that everyone says? Um, it's not the destination, it's the journey. It's one of those, it's definitely one of those. Like enjoy the moment, don't always be building to something because you're missing all the good stuff in the middle. What is your favorite thing about yourself? Uh. <laughs> I think in the last few years, I think I've become quite laid back. Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? Um, it'd probably be my sister because we're very very close and we talk about everything and she just gets it. What is your most commonly used swear word? Probably <coughs> or what is your favourite ice cream flavour? Uh, mink chocolate chip with like chunky bits of chocolate in it? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Because it's minty and like refreshing, it means you can eat more <laughs> without feeling sick. I really hope you liked this video, guys. It was just a bunch of really, really random questions. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know that you liked it. And then maybe I'll film some more tag videos if you want. If you have any questions, then pop them below. Or you can ask me on Twitter as well. It's at Alice the Bee. And also, come at me on Snapchat. It's Alice the Bee 3 Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.